Plus, get ready for Mike's Beef Marinade on the latest edition of Live Summer Grill Games. All next. We'll continue our live summer grill games with Mike Elston and his recipe for Mike's Beef Marinade. He's the winner. He's out on 67th Street right now. Hi, Hi Mike. Mike. How you doing? Hi. How you doing, Regis and Kelly? We're well, great. Welcome to our show. Now, Mike, uh, tell everybody what your real job is at home. I'm a food service director at a retirement home for nuns. Yeah. The Dominic Dominican Sisters, St. Mary's of the Springs. Aha, uh -huh, wow. very good. Hello, sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mike. Hurry back. We're hungry. <laughs> so what, what is the nuns' favorite dish there in, in the retirement home? Oh, they really like roast pork loin, uh, nice carved roast beef. Do you, do, you get a, do you get a lot of compliments after dinner when they really enjoyed it? You bet. We get more gratif gratis or satisfaction from them every day. It's the best job. Mike, are the nuns very finicky eaters? No, they're not really. Um, they like comfort foods. And that's what we provide for them, and we make it taste exceptionally well. Good well, that's for the terrific. Nuns. Well, that's I good. Like that. So this is one of their favorite recipes, I take it. Yes. In fact, this Sunday is St. Dominic's Day. And we're going to prepare it for them. Terrific. Oh, All right, cool. Well, this is what they're going to have on Sunday. We'll preview it in just a few minutes. Okay? All right. All right, Mike. Thanks for coming. We'll be right back now. Okay, time again for live summer grill games out here on 67th Street. Today we have our silver medal winning beef That's recipe. That's right. Here with Mike's beef marinade. It's sort of a glaze. Is Mike Elston from Pickering... Pickerington, Ohio. Pickerington, Ohio, suburb of Columbus. Nice to have you here, Mike. Congratulations. Hi, Mike. This Good for you. Good to sort after metal. You know what my old slogan is? What's that? Beef. <laughs> it's what's for dinner. I heard that heard somewhere. That yeah. All I, right, so I, I how did you I come up with that. this recipe? I actually had my in-laws visiting, and I always try to impress them with something unique. They sent me to the store to get some steaks, and I came back with a tenderloin. And right. I said, how am I going to prepare this? I always like to cook on the rotisserie anytime I can. Mm -hmm. And... I didn't have a sauce ready, so I just raided the refrigerator and mixed a little of this and a little of that. And I remembered and it, what I put in it. And it tasted pretty good, and it eh? tasted pretty this good. This is a big favorite of, of the nuns. M Mike works at a retirement home for about 85 nuns, and they love this dish. So let's get into the, the marinade. Okay. Regis, I'm going to have you start pouring the items in. Okay. We've got salt and lemon salt. juice. Yeah, there you yep. go. Lemon juice. Fresh lemon juice. You watch this and take notes. because Are this the nuns is... watching at home? Yes, they are. Oh, good. Hi, okay. sisters. And how so you doing? And so are my two boys, Mitchell and Jake. Hello. Hi, guys. Some pepper. Some fresh chopped garlic. Beef based paste. How much of this do you want? A couple tablespoons. Boy, this is thick. What is that? Beef based paste. It'll give it more flavor. Oh. Is that enough, Mike? That's enough. Yeah. Okay. Worcestershire sauce, just a dash of that. Oh. A dash. That's <laughs> more. Uh, quarter cup, quarter cup of maple syrup. Oh. Pour it up syrup. and down like that. Quarter yeah. cup. Up and down. That's enough. A dash of browning sauce. Give it a, a little dash. color. Hey. Oh, and the whiskey. Excuse me. The whiskey. Put that whole thing in there. A quarter <laughs> cup of whatever you feel is, is acceptable for your taste. How do the uh, nuns like it? Burns off. They, they love this. This will be wonderful. All right, so your whiskey. And we've got, we've got some water and some oil, too. Oh, okay, fine. A little quarter water. Quarter cup of water, quarter cup of oil. Got to call a cup of oil. Now just whisk that together. You whisk that. See, this is called whisking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is called a bowl, and this mm -hmm. is a spoon. <laughs> okay. After that's mixed, now this yes. is going to be fun for you, Read this. I want you to skewer the beef tenderloin. You know, I've never done this. that. <laughs> Have you ever skewed it? It's a tender cut of meat, so. I've skewered things, just but don't worry about it. Just start at one end. Go, Reed. Go, ahead, go ahead and grab yeah. under the skewer and just. Stick press it in one right end there, Reed. <laughs> this is scary. Come on, what kind of a man are oh, you? This is very scary. It's not Come that on, scary. Reed. It won't hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. Right up the middle. Bye. 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 Hey, Gilman, You're I don't going. need your running commentary on this. <laughs> you get it through there. You can do it. Oh. All right, there you go. That's a good one. Okay. Look at that. Oh. I skewered that. And then, really. Kelly, yes, I'll give you sir. the honors of putting some of the basting sauce Thank on Thank you, this Mike. Too. It would be an honor and a privilege. <laughs> okay. And I'd just like to say that if I said anything today that offended the nuns, I apologize. <laughs> you have said a lot that offended. I'm, 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 well, I'm, that's what I'm thinking now. There are probably now. no nuns watching after you. I'm just today. apologizing. All right, get the back of this thing, too. Now, how long does this stay on? For that size roast, about an hour and a half. You want it to come out at about 140 degrees. 
How many people will this uh, thing feed? That looks like you could feed probably eight people off of that with some side items. Well, the nuns eat pretty good out there, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. Good for them. Okay, and, so this is done. Yep, and then you put it on the rotisserie. Let's pretend we, we, uh, we let yep, it stay off for an hour and a half. Now, now, how do you do that? On the rotisserie, it would look oh, like this. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, and you baste flavor. it during the cooking. Mm -hmm. so That's fine. When we come back, we're going to taste this and see what all the hoopla, why he won the medal. We're back in a moment. <laughs> And more information on our website. Live will return in a moment. Back with our beef winner, and he's carving he's it up right up the now. Beef. You know, I, I um, have to show you something that Kirsten, our food stylist, taught yep. me how to make that would go very nicely with this. It's called melonade. Oh. She just invented it herself. Get a you watermelon. take a seedless watermelon, yeah. you cut a hole in it, and then you add this little, you know, these little blender things, and you stick it in there, and you um, blend blend up the insides of the melon, right? You're just making like this. juice there, right? Right. Yeah. And then you take, uh, let's see, you add the juice of one lemon, and then you get like a tablespoon of sugar, yeah, like that, and then you hand mix it again. Right? Okay, you're doing good. Look at good. this, how simple. And now simple, you... Simple. And then you take... You, you pour over oh, ice, right? Yeah, you pour it over you ice. leave this down here Yeah, like I was going to pour it in. How do you want it? Like this? Okay, that's fine. Right? Good. And then look at that. Is it good or what? It's very good. Oh, well, you know it's what else? Refreshing. And then we were saying, you could add like a little... You could add a little um, boozy woozy sure. if you I got if some right over here. All right, fine. So now what are we going to do? We're going to taste the, the meat. I'm ready to taste. Here you, got you go. some pork for you too, if you like. Oh. We eat with our hands. Uh, That's delicious. Mike. That is a good marinade. Oh, my. Very good. Nice place. Mm. And here is your $500 gift certificate to Omaha Steaks, Mikey. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Right. Now, oh, I want to be a nun. <laughs> this is great. Try all of our silver medal dishes and vote Monday for one, the one that you feel should take home the you gold. you got to do it this weekend, all of the dishes that we presented to you, and you, you make the vote on Monday then, okay? That's and right. And the winner will receive... A Fire Magic Regal 2 Grill by R.H. Peterson Company, valued at $6,000. $6,000, right? here's a reminder of all of our silver medal dishes. This is your last weekend to try them before voting on gotta Monday. got to do it now, okay? And then you'll vote on Monday. In the pork event, T.J. Stoner's Ribs by Richard T.J. Stoner Jr. In the poultry event, Jackson's Barbecue Chicken by Ray Jackson Jr. In the fish event, it was the Floribian uh, Mahi. Remember that? I was out at the beach. I'll never forget it. With mango salsa, Eleni Monas did that for us. In the vegetable event, it was the Chipotle Lime uh, Grilled Corn by Jessica Flores. Beef event, you just met him here, the big guy from uh, near Columbus, Ohio. Hi, Mike's Beef Marinade, <laughs> Mike Elston. You vote on Monday, okay? Mike, thanks very, very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Thanks, thanks again. again. On Monday, Jet Lee. Victoria Gotti. Richard Marks. And Mark Consuelos Have will be here. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, Mike. Bye-bye, sisters. Monday on Live, action star Jet Li, Victoria Gotti, singer Richard Marks, and Mark Consuelos.